see what's going to happen then. Down the start finish straight we go. It's Fraga versus Serrano for the effective race lead as we come on to start another lap. Down the start finish straight we go. It's the Toyota on the inside. Serrano in the Porsche on the outside. Fraga goes through into the race lead. Here's Araki on pit exit then as well. And somehow he's just ahead. But of course these guys in front have a lot more momentum behind them. And this is going to get very exciting indeed. So Araki then tries to move over and take the normal racing line. Fraga's going for the outside line into turn three. Serrano's going to try and make it three wide as they come onto the brakes into the right hander. No opportunity for any of the drivers making it through on the entry of the corner, but Serrano's got the exit of the corner. Fraga's losing out as well to Quentin Hall here as we come down the straight in towards turn number four, and we're still side by side for the race lead here between Iraqi and Serrano. Then Serrano's on the inside into T4. He's up the inside. Quentin Hall is getting his elbows out, and he's now through on Iraqi, or trying to be at least through that corner. Can't quite make it stick, so it's Serrano, Iraqi, Hall, and now Fraga from Miyazono. At the front of the field, top five drivers on that medium compound tyre. Uh, Lee doing really well. Still there in fifth place. This is not someone we're used to seeing in the, in the, uh, the top of the order here, but doing really well. Yeah, no, fantastic job from uh, Andrew Lee. I just to want to go back to Rios Coke for a second. Oh! There's a little bit of a slide there from your hall and Gallo. I'm not sure if that was contact there. Your hall getting inside, but I think he's picked up the grass on the on the entrance to the corner there, and Gallo sneaks through into the lead so quick that we didn't see him. Overspeed there, but he's going to lose a bit of time here because Serrano's right up his rear wing as they come through that final series of corners. You can see Serrano there on the power, off the power, trying to get onto it now. A bit wide there for your hall. That's going to allow an opportunity here for Serrano as they come down the start finish straight. Serrano's on the inside, your hall is on the outside. Your hall's down to third place as Serrano goes through into P2 at the start of the final lap then. Two mistakes, two places lost by Quentin Yahoo. He's going to have a little look at Serrano trying the outside line. That's not going to work late, I'm afraid. Cam is on the inside. He's just going to understeer as he does. And Quentin Yahoo must be so frustrated with himself. But that's two very minor mistakes. But that's cost him not only the lead, but now second place as well. Japanese driver's favourite overtaking opportunity. Serrano knows that, goes for the defensive line once again, but the overspeed of the Dodge Viper is certainly evident here as they come on the brakes into the right-hander. Yuki is going to have no track there. Here comes Quentin Yahoo, ready to try and join the party as well. Side by side, they're going to run down the straight in towards turn number four. So instead of battling for the lead, it's now defending second place for Yuki Araki. Let's see whether Yahoo is going to be able to make that move stick. Serrano's going for the defensive line ever so slightly. Yahoo's on the inside. There's a bit of argy bargy, bit of elbow bashing between them. Araki slots down into third place as Yahoo loses traction there. So it was all action stations. Igor Frog on the run down in towards turn three. They're going to run side by side. He's not even coming to the penalty zone here yet, Igor Frogger. And yet he's going to lose a position potentially there to Mia Zono into the right hand of turn three we go. He's going to pull off of the racing line, presumably there as well. And he might potentially be under threat here from Beauvoir and Brigolano, who are not too far adrift. There is Fraga serving his penalty. Mia Zono goes through. Where does he emerge back? Because of course the overspeed for Beauvoir and Regalado is going to be very important. Here comes Beauvoir down the inside in the Mercedes. Through into turn four they go. Regalado fancies joining the party. Fraga has no room to move it. He's on the gravel. He's out wide and he's now down into seventh place.